Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte, and today we're going to be dynoing my F90 M5. Currently, I am on BM3 OTS Stage 2 map on Pump 93. We're going to see what it makes right now because I got some big things in store and planned for this car, man. We're going to send it up a little bit, and uh, we're going to know we got to know where we are right now, so then we know when we send it up what the games will be. So let's go ahead and get to the dyno. Hey, what's going on everybody? So, just wanted to interject right here. So today was a crazy day. So, I just was gonna go to the shop, Your Empire, shout out to them, and just do a regular dyno on the OTS BM3 map. And then I hit up uh, my tuner, which is gonna be Utku. I think that's how you say your name. If I butcher your name, I apologize. But I just wanna say, um, Utku did a wonderful job with communicating with me, getting the, the uh, revisions back to me super quick. And um, I mean, every, ever since I started like messaging him and say I want to use him for tune, he's been super responsive and he's also been great to just to work with and communicate with. So if you're looking for a tuner for any BMW platform, I can I suggest that you consider him. Um, I'll be linking all his information in the description below in case you need to reach out to him or in case you want to get a tune from him. And I think after watching this video and seeing the results, you guys may want to use him for one of your platforms as well. So, um, as you guys saw in the video, we did the OTS tunes first and um, it was around 650 horse. Um, I had one run that went a little bit higher than 650. Um, and then the torque was around like 660, 650 in that range as well, which is kind of what I expected um, for an OTS st uh, stage two map from BM3. So now, then I hit Utku up and was like, hey, I'm, at, I'm already at the shop. We're already on the dyno. I just sent him over. A, uh, I did a data log on the BM3 um, app, sent him over the data log. Actually, I'm sorry, I didn't send him anything. Actually, what you have to do, and he advised me of this, is you just have to request a tune from that tuner within the BM3 uh, app. And once you do that, they're able to get access to all your logs and all that information that they will need at that point. So that's very, very um, smart for BM3 to do that. So I sent him a request to do a tune. Um, I went ahead and paid for the tune. Um, and then uh, once we got that, we got rolling. So like immediately after he saw the logs, I probably say it was maybe five minutes or whatever. My five ten minutes, he sent over a base my base map. Uh, so we we did a run on the base map, and uh, just looking at the numbers here on the base map, uh, which was his first um, tune that he sent over, we was able to get six ninety one and six sixty nine torque. So I was already like, man, this is way higher than OTS already. Um, so one of the benefits of doing a custom tune, 
And just in case you guys don't know, I am here in North Carolina. We do on the East Coast. We do use 93 octane. All right. So then after that, uh, he sent me another revision super quick. Um, right after that, after our data log, that run on the dyno. And then we was able to get um, 706, well, basically 707, and then 693 torque, um, which is a lot of power and a lot of torque. Um, I did ask him to kind of, you know, I did ask him about the torque. I know one of the main things, one of the main concerns about the S63 um, is about the rods and the, the torque being too high and keeping the torque low. Same issue you'll need to have on the S58 58s because the s58s use the same rods that are in the s63 for those who don't know um so uh you know we did one more he, he looked at the data logs did one more re run one more revision he was able to settle on 700 even for the horse and the torque a little bit lower at six pretty much 680 so 700 and 680 on the torque and uh, we was able to settle right there dyno looks good um and then you especially you compare it to where i was with the ots maps everything just looks good and just flowed real well so today was just like a big surprise for me i just went in there trying to do my ots maps and then my ots dynos and then i ended up with a custom 93 tune from uku um so uh special shout out again goes to uku um thanks for working with me super quick i know it's the time difference man i've been the most convenient for you but you was able to still communicate with me and uh, get my tunes and everything ready so we will be working on an e map next um, around the time today uh, but we'll be working on an emap next just to see what we can get safely on this platform um, from what i've seen i've seen a lot of guys get like 730 725 730 in that range we're throwing like an e20 e30 mix in the in there um just throwing a little bit of e in there and then doing that um so we'll be doing that next to try to see what we can get with that i am going to do some street runs and do some street logs as well just to make sure the car's running right on the street because it's always imperative after you do dyno logs and dyno runs to also run the car on the street. Um, on the way home, I wasn't able to really push the car because it's been raining monsooning here in North Carolina. But um, just on the way home, the car felt great. Uh, what also contributed to that was I did a TCU tune. So a lot of you guys follow me on Instagram. If you haven't, you should be. Um, I did do the TCU Stage 3 tune. So there will be a video coming right after this to show you guys how to flash your um, you know, F90 M5 or any similar vehicle with the XHP uh, TCU tune. So I did do that for stage three and I got the custom 93 tune. So the car is like feeling like a beast right now, man. Like it is, it, like I got on a little bit and I was like, yo, okay. I can really feel the difference and the car is, is a straight beast now. It's a, it's a true freight train now. Um, so I can't wait till it dries up and I'm able to really uh, test it out and see what 60 to 130 numbers, see what my, um, you know, zero to 60 numbers look like now with everything, the way the car sits now. I think I'm going to smash everything that I had before. I think the car feels should be a lot faster. It's not like a half second faster, 60 to 130. I want to say that's just off of me just feeling the car way it feels now. I don't know. I could just be over exaggerating, but I could just be hyping it. But uh, we'll see. You know, as you guys know, I'll share all the information, share all those numbers. So um, this has just been a very fun Fun field day, man. Got the cartoons, custom, got the TCU tune. So we're good to go, man. Car's looking good. Trying to get the car ready for invasion. Please feel free to stop by, holler at me, um, you know, take a picture, do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to be there. So, and Gumby's going to be there as well, man. So, again, I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all watching this video. Special shout out again goes to the team over at Euro Empire for helping me out today and also goes to Uku. Um, again, all the information will be down below, and uh, I appreciate you guys, and I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.